Hello viewers I welcome you all to the discussion of leap year so leap year is a significant problem while you are solving a problem in your laboratory examination point of view as well as your placement perspective so in this video lecture we are going to discuss the concept of the leap year okay so a leap year so what is a leap year leap year is an year with an extra day that means 366 days a normal year or a non leap year which contains 365 days our leap year which contains 3 66 days then naturally you'll have a question where the additional one day is getting added okay so the answer is that where the day is added leap year is an year with an extra day in the end of the shortest month february every year the february is the shortest month which usually contain 28 days but in a leap year the shortest month february which contain extra day that means 29 days that's why the leap year which contain 366 days clearly understand the leap year which contain 366 days opposed to the non leap year which contain 365 days the extra one day which is added in the month of the february in a leap year february contain 29 days for non leap years the february which contain 28 days only and it occurs almost every 4 years the leap year occurs every 4 year almost every 4 year okay every 4 year the year the leap year will occur again and again okay so we are very clearly understand leap year which contain 366 days opposed to non leap years which contain 365 days only february month of a leap year which contain 29 days for a non leap year the february month which contain 28 days only so this is the difference i am tabulated the difference okay a non leap year and a leap year non leap year which contain 365 days leap year which contain 366 days that means that non leap year plus 1 okay we can say that it is non leap year okay days plus 1 so 3 that is equal to 365 plus 1 which is equal to 366 days so first difference second difference where this the one day extra day is getting added which is added in the shortest month february okay so for a non leap year february which contain 28 days only for a leap year the february contains 29 days this one extra day is added in the month of the february so this is the difference between the leap year and non leap year so in this video lecture we are discussed about so what is leap year which contain 366 days one day extra day is added and one extra day is added in the month of the february other uh, normal non leap year which contain february contain 28 days in leap year february contain 29 days this comparison is discussed so we clearly understand the difference between the leap year and a non leap year and leap year occurs okay repeatedly occurs for every 4 years okay so thanks for watching this video so this video i have demonstrated the concept we are going to discuss about the logical part algorithm and flow chart in the forthcoming videos those yet to subscribe my channel kindly subscribe to my channel for the continuous updates and follow ups okay that's it thanks for watching this video thank you